And you know Ohio will make the difference in the race for president this year. President Obama kicked off his two-day tour in Ohio today <clears throat> as he tried to convince voters his economic plan is working. CNN's Tori Dunn and live now in the nation's capital. And Tori, what's on the president's agenda today? Well, Brendan, today it is all about grassroots events and ice cream socials. The president is getting out of Washington, D.C. and trying to get some face time with voters there in Ohio because clearly he knows how important it is to win the state in November. It's campaign season. This marks the president's seventh visit to Ohio this year and his first official bus tour. It comes just three weeks after Romney took a bus tour of his own through the Midwest. The country is betting on you, Ohio. Clearly aware of his audience, the president focused on his efforts to improve the auto and manufacturing industries. Governor Romney said we should just let Detroit go bankrupt. I refuse to turn my back on communities like this one. I was betting on the American worker. According to CNN's electoral map, Ohio is a toss-up state. A June Quinnipiac poll showed Obama led 47 to 38 percent. Also working in the president's favor, the state unemployment rate is pointing downward. His presidency has been a losing hand for Ohio and for America. But Team Romney isn't letting the president off that easy. The campaign sent Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal and former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty to shadow the president and offer a rebuttal. Here in Ohio, over 40,000 fewer jobs than when he took office. Average income gone down $3,000. The list goes on and on and on, but the bottom line is this. We've had enough of broken promises. And Brendan, tomorrow it is off to Pennsylvania for President Obama on this two-day bus tour. That's another toss-up state in the general election. Also happening tomorrow, the June unemployment numbers will be coming down, and no doubt that will drive the discussion. Tori Dunnan reporting live from Washington. Thanks. And